everybody. My name is Elmay Ramek, and I'm the Director of Community Outreach for Terrasana, and I'm also the CEO and founder of Compassion Alternatives, which is right behind us. We're at the Ohio Health Summit uh, up in Cleveland, and this is a familiar face who I'm sure you all know. This is yes. Johnny Cannabis. Now let him go ahead and introduce himself. Hey, everyone. I don't know if you know me, but I'm Johnny Cannabis with OhioCannabis.com, and we've uh, been at this health summit all day long, and it's been really good. I mean, we have hundreds of people come through. We've yeah, had been a lot of people we've here. We've had today. 30 plus vendors and all kinds of different ones. We had um, some cultivators, some dispensaries. Uh, the Cleveland School of Cannabis was here, but um, you know, you're also always at all these events to showcase the nonprofit that you do, which is Compassion Alternatives. So, tell us a little bit about what got you into that, and we know that you, you know, you left the state of Ohio and came and brought it back. Absolutely. So, tell us why and, and how. Thank you. Um, so I've been in the medical cannabis industry for a little over 10 years. Um, I started off in legislation um, here in Ohio about 10 years ago, right after my best friend passed away from cancer. Um, I kind of dove into all things medical cannabis at that point, and through that um, legislative cur learning curve, that process, I moved out to Colorado, was out there for a little over four years, moved back here because Ohio is my home, always will be. Um, we love Ohio, so, um, you know, I moved back here, continued to work with patients kind of all over Ohio and um, nationally, really. And so for me, the biggest thing that I found um, was a lot of patients were suffering from financial debt from all of their chronic lifetime illnesses and that the thought of having to pay out of pocket for medical cannabis or their medical cannabis referral was completely out of reach. So for me to um, be able to provide a charity service, we are 501c3, um, and to be able to raise finances for these families that are struggling to be able to afford their medical marijuana referral. Because um, as we know, there's 21 qualifying conditions. You could go to the clinic, get your card, but a lot of the prices range depending on where you are in Ohio. Um, so it's really important for us to be able to work with clinics um, just all over Ohio to be able to do what's best for our patients. And you, um, you know, you're not specific to like epilepsy or a particular ailment. You are just looking to help uh, patients across the board and is there like a qualifying thing that you look for when you try to help a specific patient? No, that's a great question. Um, so essentially we just encourage them to go onto our website, learn how our program works and then I have my personal email on there as well and so usually it's just a matter of us having like an open discussion um, just about you know what you need help with financially. Um, we're currently getting approved by HIPAA which if you've ever tried to apply for HIPAA it's a, it's a long process um, but once we're able to get that process down then we can officially have an application process um, but you know we are a charity we run completely on our fundraising money and none of us are drawing a salary everything that we get as far as our funds raised goes back to our operations and our financial assistance programs um, and so for us you know we run on, mainly on, on funding um, so it's very important for us to kind of get out there let the public know what we're doing because um, we're really trying to make a difference in a lot of these patients lives yeah you know it's such an important job that you're doing and you've been doing a, a great job of it I mean she's at every event that she can possibly be at um, representing this brand to you know, just get donations and, and charitable contributions from the general public that can afford to help out other patients and it could also would it be for like getting their medical marijuana license or just their medicine is there a specific um, that? yeah that's a great question too um, we are national and so you know other states we've had a little bit more flexibility in order to um, help the patients purchase from the actual dispensary um, right now our nonprofit is completely autonomous from any dispensaries um, so we strictly only work with clinics um, helping patients be able to financially afford their medical marijuana for all here in Ohio Nice. Yeah, that's, and um, what is the website if, for people to get more info and to uh, help donate or anything if they want or put an application? Sure, um, absolutely. So we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, um, we're pretty active on there. So if you haven't checked us out, please do. And then our website is CompassionateAlternatives.org. And I'd like to just say that, you know, not only does she come to these events, but you're generally a presenter. Um, yes. you're, you're always speaking. She has a, lot, a wealth of knowledge. Unfortunately, we missed her today. We were running late. We didn't get any uh, info for, or footage of her today, but she's always speaking and um, she's put a lot of events on, smaller like mixer events that are yeah. very intimate, that are just more all patient focused, but mm -hmm. also 
um, community focus to where you know the people can come out and enjoy themselves too so yeah and absolutely and one of the main things um, really the thing that has driven us is that all patients have a voice um, and so we really strive hard to create a platform for patients to be able to come out there be able to share their stories be able to realize that they have a sense of um, relatability with other patients who have kind of gone through the same thing same journeys as they have um, and so for us to the majority of our educational platform is really just um, like like Johnny said mixers or socials and that sort of thing to really bring the patients together and have a sense of community um, between all levels, even you know the cultivators, dispensaries. Yeah. So our events, um, they're always free. Um, you know, we always uh, try and schedule them. You know, bi-monthly. Um, and usually so Columbus-based, though, right? Usually Columbus-based. Yeah. And so right now, too, um, I'm really looking for um, different representatives throughout Ohio to kind of help us really branch out geographically. Um, that would be really great. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions or you would like to contact me about those opportunities, please reach out to me. Well, we, we appreciate all the help you've done through for the industry, and we wish you luck in you know helping as many patients as you can and getting as much funding as needed. So yeah, good you. luck and thank, thank you. you, and we'll see you guys later. All right. All right.